your measurements from one end to the other end. Now for me, I'm not gonna cover the entire headboard because my, my mattress actually stops about here. So this is where I'm gonna stop mine. So I'm gonna measure from the top all the way down to here. And then that's how I'm gonna cut my fabric. Go, Carly. Go, Carly. <laughs> go, Carly. <laughs> go, 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 I measure from here to here. I have grooves, so I'm gonna use these grooves as my guide to add my buttons. So from here to here was one measurement, and from here to here times one, two, three, four is how I'm gonna be able to get the width of what I need. So what I did was I took my foam board and I cut some strips. And all I'm gonna do is adhere these strips here. So what I did was, I took my strips and a pin, secured it. And I did that all the way across. And that's how I was able to measure from one, one strip to the next strip to the next strip, to the next strip for the placements of my buttons. So we get into that. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that when I get into that part of it. Okay, so I have the placement of my scissors and this is where I'm gonna cut the final um, measurements of how wide and long I want my fabric. So I'm gonna cut that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my strips measured out and they are from one end to the other end, um, 13 and a half inches. And then from strip to strip is 14. And then from the last strip to the end is 13 and a half. So the next thing I'm gonna do is high glue my, my strips down and then place my buttons. Okay, you, you guys, this is the final look of the headboard. I absolutely love it. I love the detail that the strips, the foam board strips gives underneath it. Um, all I did was take a, a staple gun and I used the industrial staple gun so that the staples will hold. And I went all the way across a line, a strip to give it a little bit more tough because this headboard is already padded so I didn't have to do too too much padding to it um, and I just took it pulled it tight on both ends give it a real neat look pulled it tight on the back and stapled it and then I did a separate piece of overlay at the top um, so I think what I'm gonna do is take a strip of maybe silver or maybe black. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I did that for a reason because I want to put a strip of something going across the top. But anyway, you guys, I hope you like this video. Comment, subscribe, like, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Go. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah.